So last week, I'm on X, formerly Twitter, and I see that this account, Rick Golfs, is posting about $20 golf shoes that you can purchase from Costco Online. I couldn't believe it at first, but I went to Costco Online and I did what any golf shoe aficionado would do, and I ordered myself two pair, a pair in black and a pair in blue. So I did take these out to the driving range, and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts on the range as we see my footwork and how these grip flex spikes perform in a real life scenario. That's the box it came in. I actually have two boxes, one for each pair. And on the top of the box, it says lightweight and responsive midsole cushioning. We're gonna test that out. Durable outsole provides superior multi-directional traction on a variety of surfaces. And I did check out if you did get superior multi-directional traction. And then finally, we've got premium and supportive uppers provide protection in almost all weather conditions. I only tested it out in perfect sunny Vegas weather. While I don't have a weather lab, I do have a very damp napkin, which I am testing it out. Let's say it rained or something. You can see here, it's very waterproof actually. This is the ultimate poor man's Gore-Tex shoe. Now you see it's very wet. I'm gonna take this other napkin. So it does seem to handle the wet weather conditions very well. It does seem to be waterproof. I'm not sure what conditions these shoes wouldn't at least be as effective as other golf shoes in. I mean, if you're considering, for example, lava conditions. Let's say you're playing Hawaii and a volcano explodes and you're walking through lava. Well, these are the weather conditions that these golf shoes probably won't hold up to. But then again, your premium golf shoes will also fail the lava test. The box does say that these are premium golf shoes, but as we both know, that's a subjective term and it really is a good deal for $20. Now, maybe if I was in a Chinese outlet store or buying shoes in an open air market, these would be considered premium. They're pretty standard, but again, these were $20. I obviously took these out to demo them. You can see on the bottom, there's still some mud there. We've got the Grip Flex technology. But in terms of the premium outer portion, I mean, definitely worth $20. We want to talk premium. I compared these shoes to kind of an apples to apples comparison with the soft spikes. Here is the soft spike test. The echoes go first, very stable, obviously a premium shoe. Now to the Skechers, equally stable. No slippage, folks. Back to the Echoes. Always good, and equally as good, again, are 
the Skechers. Let's go back and forth for one more round. Let's see if you can spot the difference. Perfect traction. And for $20, Skechers doing the exact same thing, folks. However, these are actually made of premium yak leather. Yak leather, to me, is the pinnacle of any type of leather. I don't know how yaks of all animals are able to produce this type of comfort, but these are much pricier than the $20 Skechers. So keep that in mind. I've also got, for comparison, just visually, the FootJoy DNA 2.0s. If I'm gonna play in a tournament, I'm going full spikes, nice white leather, super comfortable. But again, these aren't 20 bucks. And if you're looking for true comfort, I mean, it doesn't get any more meshy or mushy than these old school foot joys that Hunter Mahan promised would give you like this gecko-like stability as if you're some type of amphibian. These might actually be a little bit too soft. Nothing says buy a pair of these golf shoes than watching a dude whose club head speed with the driver is easily 115 miles per hour hitting balls on a dusty, beat up driving range in the Vegas area. You can see in the background how dusty this area is and there's a lot of dead grass on the ground. Do you see me slipping and sliding at all? No, you do not. I'm struggling to put the ball on the tee because the ground is so hard and uninhabitable for most of forms of life. But I'm still be able to hit a driver effectively with high club head speed in these Skechers golf shoes. There's nothing sketchy about them. They're a great deal. Watch as the dust kicks up. No slippage. Folks, get out there, get a pair. So overall, what did I think about these shoes? I think if I'm gonna go play an executive golf course, I'm gonna throw these on. Just throw them in the bag, put them on, play that little golf course. If I'm playing in a tournament or for big money, I'm probably sticking with the Echoes because the Yak Leather is super comfortable, already makes a statement, or the Foot Joy DNA 2.0. They might be on 3.0, 4.0 right now, I don't know, but those things are, to me, the industry standard. These, I mean, you're at Costco. You wanna try out golf, you want some golf shoes, you, you shop Costco online. 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. If you're a serious golfer, I mean, why not bring these to the range? Why not have these as a backup on the days your favorite pair of golf shoes maybe get a little bit wet or you wanna dry them out? You don't wanna wear them back-to-back -back days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday if you're in a tournament. Go every other day. I got it. Some of you are still thinking about the yak leather. It's truly amazing and these shoes have great grippage. But, unfortunately, they are available, but at a significant cost, on sale, maybe $107. So again, I just want you to focus on the insane value that Costco is offering right now in the form of these Skechers $20 shoes. They grip the ground perfectly. You saw me test them on dusty, hard pan, grapes of wrath type surface. You've seen me take a very wet napkin and rub it on the surface and that they'll withstand any type of precipitation that you'd normally encounter on a golf course that doesn't involve lava. Folks, there's three models available. I'm not a spokesman for Skechers or Costco, but I want you to get the value that I've gotten and probably recommend the black and blue model because the gray model doesn't look as sharp. Get on Costco online while supplies last and get a few pair. I got the size 11. There are no size 11 and a half. So fortunately, the size 11 fits me perfectly. If you're size 11 and a half, still worth it. It's only $20. So what if you're a little bit pinched? 